We started a new curriculum in our house, and if you're a Christian, you need to know about it. I am so excited to tell you about Taking the Middle East for Jesus. This is put out by Generations, and I have never seen a history curriculum done like this before. These are the level two books, so it's geared towards second grade. And when you get into it, it is at that level for vocabulary and even reading capabilities. But I'm currently reading it to my kindergarten through fourth grade. We're doing it like a read aloud. So what's unique about this program is that it is church history for kids. Seriously, I took church history in college. I have never heard about these stories outside of that course and here they are written in a way that my children can understand. When you get the curriculum, you're going to get the reading portion along with the workbook. Let's start here. Actually, in the workbook, there is this layout to do it three times a week. It's kind of the suggested schedule. We're reading a chapter a day since we're doing it differently, but here's how to break it up. So when you get into it, you're really starting with the spread of the gospel, starting from the time of Jesus and the first apostles, moving to present day. And so we're talking about all these different influences moving throughout Turkey and Northern Africa, Armenia. This is so neat because we're getting a lot of geography in there. We've got our vocab words. There's even hymns included, like a mighty fortress is, not, is our God to be singing with your kids to introduce to them. We're going in chronological order. The kids are really enjoying it. At one point, my husband asked, do the kids really understand this? Like you're reading quite a bit and I had them narrate the story back to me and they didn't miss a thing. These stories are really engaging and at the end there's a faith lesson. Guys, we talk about wanting to teach our kids about God, God being the main most important thing that we teach our kids and yet so much of our history curriculum, it comes from a secular point of view or really leaves God absent. Can you hear my kittens? We have six little kittens right now and of course this is the time when they're most active. Oh. Okay, but is our history curriculum really showing how God moved throughout the world, how the gospel is being spread? We're getting so much solid history in here that I want my kids to know. Okay, so moving into the workbook, I always love reading the notes to the parents or suggestions at the beginning. Here you can see it says that it's written at that second grade level for them to be able to read, but um, with the activities, it actually says like in the workbook, if you don't want to complete these pages, it's okay. You don't have to have them hand write it out. They could just narrate the answers to you. That's the approach that I prefer to take in this situation. And I like that they give me permission to do that, even though as a parent, I can do what I want. So then it has the lesson schedules. It'll tell you where to start, when, where to stop. Again, broken up into three days a week. So this is really light. It wouldn't take you long at all. For day one of a chapter, you're going to learn a memory verse that goes along with that. You're going to recite it, you're going to answer some questions about it, fill in the blanks, and then pray. On day two, you're going to be learning your vocab words and reading what they mean and then filling in the blanks with those to make sure that you understand which one goes where. On day three, Three, you are getting into that geography, you are mapping it out, answering some final questions, and then there is an extra extended activity if you are interested. Uh, one of these really stuck out to me, it was the idea of teaching Christ as our cornerstone and getting out some blocks to build a tower and then removing that bottom piece and watching as it all comes crumbling down if we aren't building our lives on the firm foundation. I think these stories are really inspiring inspiring to encourage our kids to stand strong in their faith, to have heroes that we really admire and look up to, and so that we don't feel like alone in our faith or don't know our own history, right? We are adopted into the family of God. Like these are the people that have come before us and laid the path so that we can have salvation here today through Jesus Christ. This is the primary stuff 
I want my kids to know about and if you want your kids to know about it too, I would really encourage trying this out. There is taking all of these other countries for Jesus as well, taking the Americas for Jesus, taking Asia for Jesus, um, and then the spread of the gospel through those countries, Europe. And so I am looking forward to getting those in the future. However, I have a package coming because I love this so much. I ordered a whole bunch more curriculum from different subjects from them, and I'm gonna do an unboxing and flip through. So make sure you're subscribed so you see when that video is available. And until then, you might be interested in checking out what we are currently using uh, besides this and what we do for our handwriting. You can click on those videos there. Thanks so much for joining you guys. Go check out this curriculum for yourself. Links in the description.